Well, hello there, and welcome to Getting Started with Flaxbeard's Steam Power or Doubling. There's a lot you can do with Flaxbeard's, but right now I'm just going to focus on or Doubling. So, for this, you are going to need a boiler, some pipes, and two rock smashers. And this is what it does. You get your smashed, in this case, iron ore. You get two for one, so there's where the doubling is. You just throw that in a smelter or a furnace, whatever you may have. Bam, done. So, what this does is you put your fuel here, and it converts your water into the steam, which is what actually powers the system. It is a very good idea to have an infinite water supply nearby because it's kind of slow and you'll use a lot of water. So to get started, you're going to make a setup like this. You're going to need a crucible, a big mold, a smaller mold to go into it, and then a carving table. What the carving table does is you can take one blank mold instead of keeping one of each. Just right click it, and it changes between the three molds you can use. Now, keep in mind you have to use an empty hand when you click this or nothing will happen. So, let's look at materials. You're going to need 62 brass plates, 6 iron plates, 9 iron ingots, a furnace, 15 clay bricks, 26 cobble, 6 redstone, and 25 wood planks. And you're going to need, of course, a heat source to put under your crucible to heat it up. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can use brass plates or brass ingots, it's much, much more resource efficient to use brass plates because brass plates, it only uses 75% of an ingot. So you get six plates per three copper, one zinc, versus brass ingots where you get four. So it's a one-to-one -one conversion. So you're going to end up using a lot more materials for your ingots, 48 and 16 versus 33 and 11 for the plates. And these are the things, the base things you're going to be needing. You're going to need this boiler, lots and lots of pipes, and then your rock smashers. This is the construction for the very first thing that you need to get started. The crucible, the molds, and the carving table. You're actually going to need two of these because you need another one to make the carving table. And then the construction of the rock smasher and boiler itself. As you can see, lots of brass plates, lots of different stuff going on here. The boiler is fairly easy. The pipes are easy. You just need quite a bit of them. And then you're going to need three of the brass pistons per smasher. And you need two for it to work. So everything here has to be doubled to get six of these. So you can get two smashers. And how this works, I'm going to demonstrate with, ooh, that spike, with some iron. So for the iron plates, for instance, let's press Q, throw two iron ingots in there, empty hand, click it, so the level go down a little bit, open it up, there's your brass plate. And really, that's all there is to it. Once you have all your components, you set up your boiler, you shift click to put your pipe down there, you want the ones in the back to be one, two, three, four, five across. You put another one here, place your rock smashers thusly, and that's really all it is to it. Looking at it, it seems like it's fairly easy, but again, when you look at the resources it takes, you're still going to need 62 brass plates. So you're still going to need to do quite a bit of mining to get enough copper and zinc, plus the time it takes to actually make the plates. Which, as you can see, is actually kind of slow. So you spend a lot of time to do it, but essentially, that's it.
you can now jump into Flaxbeards and get your ore double on. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!